always say this. If you go have a kid with a bum nigga or bum men for my non-black people, don't be shocked when he brings that bummery or that tomfoolery to your doorsteps. This is what you married into. This is what you dated into. This is what you fornicated into. Welcome back, down. This is the Chrissy Can. I'm back again with another video. Girl, my hair different. I know. I know. I know. I didn't want to come up the camera like this, but I'm tight on schedule. I'm tight. Tight, babes. I'm tight on schedule. And I have to retwist my hair because, one, I ain't got the money to go do my hair, so I do it myself. And I have to... I, girl, there's so much I have to do, and this is the sections... And I can't unsection it just because I got to film. We are back. So, you know, just deal with it. Anyways, we are back with Paternity Court. Y'all know how much I love me on Paternity Court. I love seeing everything that I need to not do when I do get a man and I do plan to get married and have kids. But yeah, I just, you know, you got to watch. Anyways, let's go. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. This is the case of Johnson versus Kirby. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. Johnson, you are here to prove you are not the biological father of Miss Kirby's 11-month-old son, Caden. You claim her so accusations are causing trouble in your relationship, and you are certain the results will clear your name. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Miss Kirby, you are positive your son was conceived during your sexual relationship with Mr. Johnson. I don't want to comment on her forehead. I'm going to keep it to myself because y'all might come from my forehead to too. Up and be a father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Johnson, you claim Miss Kirby is causing issues in your life. Explain. I only, I'm only yes, Your Honor. She's possible. trying to pin a child on me. That ain't mine. And uh, she's causing problems in my current relationship. Uh, how am I causing issues in God. your current relationship? Why you ain't let him finish what he was saying? I don't like when y'all do that because we got to let the niggas get their thoughts out. Like, the, you know, we got to let people hear themselves out. Talk to me yesterday. Oh! So what are you talking about, sir? I'm not trying to keep up with you. I just wanted to know, is this really happening? So you think she's trying to pin a baby on you? Yes, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. okay. And you have doubts. Okay. Yes, Your Honor. It's the skin so, tone. I promise you it's the skin tone. Kirby, I have to ask you. Are you trying to pin this baby on Mr. Johnson? No, I'm trying to get my baby situated. He has health issues. I'm trying to see where he's coming from because it's on, it is not on my side of the family. There is something that I actually... Uh, I actually had to sit with in for a moment, right? A lot of y'all don't know the family or the family history or the health history of the people that y'all laying up in bed with. Because me personally, I don't know a lot of the health issues in both of my families. I just know that one of my uncles has diabetes and it's not like, it's not type 1, it's type 2, right? Um, I know that, you know, my like we don't really have that much health issues in my family in my dad's side of the family my mom's side of the family is a little more complicated because her family history is very complicated but i i often like to sit with people and be like when if y'all getting married and marry somebody have kids with somebody you need to know so much more about their family than just Oh, this is my mom's name. This is my dad, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You need to know so much. It, there's so much that goes into forming a union, and I just wish people would talk more about it. So I see you're emotional already. I, I, what What are you feeling right now? How does it feel to know the man you are saying is the father of your child is not acknowledging your child? Um, we planned this baby. He told me when we first met that I was going to be his baby mama. Now that he's here, he don't want to step up. Either he step up or he step down. And why do you have tears in your eyes? <laughs> My baby. Excuse me, Yarn. I guess I told her that she was going to be my baby mom, but it was just both have the same head. I'm sorry. It was nothing like that. We only had 
said, that was it. Nothing more. And plus, she's That's... trying to pin this baby on me because she need help now. And then I don't she need wanna... your help. My baby's well taken care of. He's well, been taken care of for almost a year now. Well, why you threatening me with child support? Because I know you ain't going to do nothing. All right, let me ask you this. Okay. Mr. Johnson, did you grow up with a father in your life? No, Your Honor. I was premature. I was in the hospital for six months. And while I was now, in the hospital... Now my baby have issues. He have health issues. While I was in the hospital, Your Honor, my father abandoned me. Now you abandoned and my Kevin. mother. I would never do a child like that that I know that's mine. And this baby is not mine. And so you're saying... My whole thing is... Okay. Okay. I don't know. I don't feel... I feel like there are so many ways to go about this without doing this, but... Without paternity court, girl, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be here. Anyways, it is crazy to me that, you know, there's no smoother way to do this. There's no smoother way for you to get your grievances with the mother than coming on a show to get the paternity taken. I don't know. I feel like the moment she gave birth, you could have kind of sort of been like, Let's get a fraternity test and you know, unless you did try to do that and she didn't want you to do that, then that's a whole other conversation for another day. However, if y'all never even went through that route but you're coming on TV, it's just nasty Thanks. to me. You know what it feels like to be abandoned. And, yes, you, and you would never do that to another child. Yes, Your Honor. I would never do that because I Clearly made bad you decisions. If you not take care of Caden. Okay. Because Clearly it's not are. mine. It ain't my baby. That baby don't look nothing like me. Because um, he got blue eyes. I'm like, he like. So what's your point? Your Honor, I just yeah. had a child, and the baby looks nothing like Kaden. The ba my baby looks like me. So you are convinced that Kaden is not your biological child? Yes, Your Honor. Because right. How did of the you blue, two meet? blue eye and Well, blue Your Honor, too. we was working um, at this job, and then we had a blackout. And during the blackout, we decided to go to the store. So we in my car, driving to the store. Charmaine started talking sexually. Why would so, I talk, talk sexual to you because, when I'm dealing with someone? Wait, what, what was she saying? <laughs> <laughs> I think I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> Jerome said, I want to know. <laughs> uh, oh, my goodness. Okay, what did she say? Keep it PG, please. All right. <clears throat> well, Your Honor, she's just saying that um, how she'll do when she in the bed with a man. That's what she was talking about. Oh. That don't mean right. I was trying to lay down with you. Yes, you were. So why why did we exchange numbers? And then the next, like the you. next, the I next like day, we had it. Miss Herbie, you just get in the car, riding to the store, and just talking about what you gonna do in the bed? <laughs> That's your That's conversation. Your no, your honor. I'm, that don't even sound like conversation riding to the store. She that did say that she liked him, so that's... trying to get with somebody. And that's, and that's what we did, your honor. We exchanged numbers, then the next day, I hate boom, how she keeps, we have a sex. It was she just keeps a putting the baby's that's picture <laughs> on the screen, making me feel so even worse about this baby. You said. Yeah. And, and you just started having sex. Yes, your honor. How long did the sexual yeah. relationship last? Well, it lasted for months. And during the time, she already told me, Your Honor, that she was having sex with another guy. A month before you and a month no, after you, no. sir. No, during, during the time we were having sex, she had already told me. So when you met and she, well, I mean, look, she, you in the car talking about what you're going to do to a man, that's going to obviously lead to someone thinking, what man? What man are you doing this with? So you're saying she told you, I'm also having a sexual relationship with somebody else. Yes, Your Honor. What did she say? She was like, well, I'm single, but I'm having sex with this dude also. And plus, he was staying the night at her apartment. So is that true, Miss Kirby? Were you having a guy spend the night over during yeah. the time that you started having sex? Yes, I was. Sex? Ooh, and she ain't even ashamed. Because he knew from the jump that I was sexual dealing with someone. <laughs> she with someone at the time me and him met. But I told you, him up front. You just said it was a month. It's been a month. But now you was dealing with somebody. But wait, from from you talking about what you're going to do to a man in bed to the point when you all are actually in the bed together, that's just less than 24 hours. And now you admit you were also having a sexual relationship with another man. 
so, seems pretty obvious how we got here. <laughs> that poor baby. If you want more episodes, can you tell the court how you found out Miss Kirby was pregnant? Yes, Your Honor. I was at this party and I was scrolling on social media and I saw her post something about she don't need help with her child. So I hit her up, I was like, are you pregnant? She was like, yeah. So I'm like, is the baby mine? She was like, no. So I left the party and went to her house. And then she, she not make was saying, well, yes, you are the father. So Girl, are you not? You, you, Babes, I'm trying to, I, every time we come to this court, I try to be as objective as I can. But babes, you're not making your case any, girl, your case is dismissed, babes. Some of y'all just, ooh, y'all wasting so much time, so much time and money. Is this it, baby? No. He comes to the house? Yes. Get a paternity test. See the post. And you're curious. Right. So you ask her, is she pregnant? She says yes. But she says, no, you're not the father. Because yes, I didn't want to deal with him at the time. So why'd you go to her house after that? Exactly. Because I wanted to be clear, am I this father, the, am I the father of this baby? Oh, you were taking it one step further because as you stated in your earlier testimony, you're not going to play around if you think a child is your, your child. child. Yes, okay. And so you went to her house. Yes, Your Honor. And so you get to her house, and what happens? How does the script flip? I don't know. I guess she sees that I'm going to be around, that I'm going to help her take care of this child. She wants to be around. You haven't done nothing to fuck from Caden since he's been here. Yes, because you were saying this was this it of wasn't mine. I told you was, he wasn't yours because you right. wasn't going to do nothing, and I didn't want to deal with you. All right, then. So why would I do something? I don't understand. Like, I always say this. I think I, I say this in my previous paternity test. Is don't deny your baby a father just because you don't want to deal with the father. Okay? I can tell you from experience, I've seen it with my own two eyes. There are times when my mom is tired of my dad, and she really wants to punch him in his face. But I love that she never stopped me from having a relationship with, with him, right? Even though they married, so that's not really the same. But anyways, as I'm saying, never stop your child from having an, a relationship with their father just because you and the father have issues. Deal with your issues with the father, deal, and then let the them have a relationship. You feel me? So if he's truly a mind. bad guy, Kirby, your kid you will see it at some point. You were with? You were pregnant? Yes. Oh, you did? Ooh. Hmm. And so why are you threatening Mr. Johnson with child support? And Because I did the calculations. We had sex June, July 10th, and Ooh. this the round of time that I could see Katie. So you looked at the conception window? Yes, ma'am. And you determined that was during the time when you were sexually active with Mr. Johnson? Yes, Your Honor. But I thought you slept with him within a 24-hour window of meeting him, and you also were in a sexual relationship with... That's the what's man. making it him... so... That's what's making... That's, that's what's making it so, so fucking bad. Because I know we say that it takes one time, However, you mixing people in between, bitch. You mi babes, you mixing people in between. It's even harder now because you having sex with this guy, you having sex with that guy. Oof. Had said July 10th on that way from when we got back from Clarksville. Oh, so you're basing this on the exact date of yes. sex? Yes, Your Honor. Excuse me, Your Honor. <laughs> you about to be behind for that. We are talking about two different guys she was having sex with another guy before this guy that she said that's her her um supposed to be baby father so you are actually one out of three right. um, yes. so far. It, it, it was protected it was protected your honor well we've learned in here no protection is a hundred percent girl all right so during the pregnancy, who stepped up for you? Who who was there for you? Was Mr. Johnson there? No, Your Honor. My family was. <laughs> there for the Apologies. Birth? No, Your Honor. Excuse me, Your Honor. I wasn't there because she didn't want me to be there. The only time she called me was for sex and food. You a liar. That's the only time, Your Honor. You wouldn't even <laughs> lie 
legalize a chicken from churches. I was taking, I was taking you to Burger King and going to Kroger grocery shopping. For you. <laughs> Woo, Mr. Johnson, you know how to whine and die. <laughs> oh, woman, honey. Uh, what? <laughs> yes, fantastic. <sighs> okay, so Caden's almost a year now. What kind of relationship do you have with him, Mr. Johnson? Have you developed any relationship with this baby? No, Your Honor. Kaden's Not at all. Not at have you ever seen him in person? No, Your Honor. No. Not at all. I only seen him on video chat. She was video chatting me at first, and then um, after she started saying that Katie need pampers, Katie need this, I'm like, well, call his real dad. I only called you one time, and Katie didn't need you for that. I was you, just trying to see what you, you got actually me, do with her. You call me, text me, text me, call me. I'm still telling you that I'm in a relationship like... Boy, you hit me up first. I ain't never hit you up first for anything. Can't been good since birth. You're lying. So wait a minute, Miss. Cl I'm sorry. I in the other paternity court, they came with receipts. Y'all say y'all text screenshots. Show me the screenshots. Why are we just talking based based on mouth? No screenshot. Drop the screenshots right now. Drop them. Kirby. You say he is Caden's father. Yes. And he's not mine. But what I'm saying is, why do you say you're just going to hit him up to see what he was going to do? Don't you want him to have a relationship with Caden? Yes. You do. So then, why are you... And so when you got in contact with Mr. Johnson, were you hoping he'd respond? Yes. But he didn't. Yes. And that's hurtful. Yes. So what's it been... Listen. I'm all for her being sexually liberating. I'm all for her throwing it back. However, baby, I'm gonna need you to, I'm gonna need you to get your timeline correct if you wanna help this baby out. If you, you, I know it hurts, it hurts, but you need to get your timeline together. You need to get yourself together about your relationships, about everything that you wanna do. And Mr. Johnson, if this is your baby, she might. Ain't nobody even talk about his skin color. Katie, on your own. It's been hard, but I've been. When you say it's been hard, talk to the court about the struggles. Um, my baby has health issues. What happened? Um, he has a G tube, so we back and forth from different doctors, ENT, Damn, I don't even know what G tubes um, are. G tube clinic, all of that, and he's also a bino. Oh. Ooh. So do you feel like that's one of the reasons Mr. Johnson is yes. not believing? Yes. Because of his albinism? Yes. Excuse me, Your Honor. I didn't even know that this child was albino. And plus, no one's in my family albino. Has no no trait of it. So you feel like since you've never heard of this, it's mm. not in your family, that Caden couldn't possibly be your child. That's another area of doubt for you. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Well, Miss Kirby, does anyone in your family have albinism? Do they? No, Your Honor. Any of the other two men, do you know if I'm not sure. it occurs in their family? You don't know. All right. Well, I wanted to learn more about this, and so I'd like to bring in Dr. Samantha Brown Parks to explain in more detail. Could, I mean, I know that albinism, you have to have a specific gene in your family, and sometimes it's an albu... Al Albinism, albi albinoism, albinism. Yeah, that. It, it's a it's a recessive trait, so it's not as prominent on a lot of people. You might have it as a, re a recessive trait is basically like a trait that won't show up, but you have it. So if it maybe doesn't show up with you, but some you meet a partner that has it as well, your kid will have it. So maybe. Somewhere down the line of their families, someone has albino, have albinism, and both of them coming together gave the baby albinism. I don't know. Is it possible that he's not the father? The medical condition called albinism. Please, Jerome, can you escort Dr. Samantha Brown Parks into the courtroom? Jerome, tired of y'all. He's tired of y'all every day. Oh, she a white lady. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know where that came Dr. out like this. Brown Parks. 
I judge her. I don't know. Her name was Brown. I've got more questions. Damn, but she didn't sound. Today we're here talking about the return of a uh, beautiful baby, Caden. And his mother, is the blue eyes that, also uh, part of albinism? Albino. He has albinism. Can you tell the court what albinism is exactly? The lack of pigmentation in the skin. So albinism is a very rare disease. Less than this one in twenty thousand like children have it. Um, and it is the absence of pigment, both in the hair, skin, and sometimes eyes. Period. So, I said that. is albinism passed down? How does it get passed down to a child? Normally, it's passed down. Through the mother, father? How does that work? So, it's both. Anyone can have. Each parent, even though they recessive. look phenotypically or to the eyes, exactly what I said. carry a recessive an gene. abnormal gene. So, one abnormal gene from mom, one abnormal, one abnormal gene from dad gene. come together. Okay. Make give you an albino other child. Albinism. That's fascinating. So, Mr. Johnson, after hearing Dr. Samantha Brown Park's testimony today, does that change your mind? Do you understand with greater certainty what albinism is, and does that change your mind as to whether or not you could be Caden's biological father? Yes, Your Honor, I understand, but I still deny that he's not my child. You don't believe he is? No, Your Honor. So, Mr. Johnson, what are your hopes today? You say you know Caden's not your biological child, but that's different from what you're hoping. Do you hope he is? I'm hoping that he's not, Your Honor, so I can move on with my life. Because you just had a... Anyways, I'm sorry. My mom called me for a second. Yes, Your Honor. Congratulations. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank You may have another one in about 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Jerome? Let's just go to the results. Let's <laughs> uh... just get to the results. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't know that there's an albino. There's an albino gene These in his family. These results were prepared maybe, by DNA know? Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Johnson oh, versus... I did, like the last one I didn't know. When it comes know. to 11 month old Caden, my poor baby Caden. It has He's been so adorable, determined bro. by this court, Mr. Johnson. You are the father. Oh, she <laughs> I knew it. Mhm. Mm Congratulations are she in order again. She told me. She told you. That's your beautiful little boy. I mean, you are like I said, I'm the father of this child, and I'm a step up. At least, that is damn, good to know because at he least, it. and he's been waiting yeah. for it for eleven months. Kirby, stop trying to stop him from having a relationship. Any Mom, is it okay Kirby. if Mr. Johnson meets his son for the very first time in my chambers? I'll be there with you. That's all right? Mr. Johnson, it's time for you to meet your son. I will see you all in my chambers. Court is adjourned. That was nice. That was nice. That was a cute one. Hold on. Let me get my charger. So, um... I had to get my charge. Girl, where the hell my charge should came with? Anyways, what is it? Um, it's cute or whatever, girl. I'm like, I'm not kidding. Anyways, it's cute or whatever, but it just you know comes to show that you know let's not throw our ass in the circle in between multiple people, you know, so we don't have situations like this. But at the same time. It's crazy how nobody actually like went to go check whether there's albin albinism in both families or any of that. Like I just, right as at the beginning, just make sure you're not throwing your ass in a circle too much. Let's, you know, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's be good people. <laughs> let's at least do nice things, y'all. Let's do nice things. Let's be good people. Let's hopefully not throw our asses in a circle and not know in between who we had this baby with. You know what I'm saying? 
Anyways, that was that for today's video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you at the next one. Bye bye.